Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 11th. This week, you start off with the Nine of Diamonds. Really good card. Nine of Diamonds is all about uh, work opportunities, more work opportunities. And really, I always say that the Nine of Diamonds is actually really just a card of newness, of new things coming into your life. I actually, I mean, I think you've had this card several times in the past. Uh, it's a card of new opportunities coming your way, having a bunch of new chances, new opportunities. I think I already said that, but new jobs, new business. It can even represent moving and things like that, anything new that you could possibly imagine, even relationships. It is a diamonds card, but it can still represent somebody new coming into your life in a lot of ways. I would say that if it is a relationship, there's a pretty strong chance that it would come in through work because, again, it is a diamonds card, so it would come in through some sort of work event or you know just working in general or somebody new being coming in and you starting a relationship, something along those lines. But the opportunities are there, so it's a great card of, of new things happening. Uh, the other thing about the Nine of Diamonds, I'm going to spend a long time on this card because it's important, but... The Nine of Diamonds happens in chunks. So when this card comes in, you'll notice that you'll go through periods of time where it's like you have a few days where everything's the same, and then like you have like another maybe even two weeks where everything's all the same, where you're experiencing the same things. So frequently life can happen in like bits and pieces and chunks with the Nine of Diamonds. So just realize that. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Diamonds. Seven of Diamonds can be a card of worrying about money. It's a card of pulling on old money fears, so definitely don't do that. Uh, I always say with this card, you could have $10 million in the bank and you're still worried about money. Uh, and it's because you're pulling on things that happened to you in the past, like bad things around money. And maybe you'll have a similar situation today that looks similar, but it's really not. And uh, But but you maybe you feel like it's similar, so you panic. And this card just simply asks you to think positively. Again, sevens are internal fears, so they don't actually exist. So there's really nothing to worry about under this card. Next, you have the Two of Spades. Two of Spades is a separation card, and it's interesting because it came in with this uh, Nine of Diamonds here. And Nine sometimes can ask us to open up a little bit and to look at some, look at more things that are happening and going on. So that's kind of like the Two of Spades as well. It can, on one hand, it can be a breakup card. I'm really not feeling that for you guys. I, I'm mostly feeling that it's a card of separating away from something. And with that Nine, remember what I, what I said about the newness is maybe some of you are a little bit resistant to some new ideas that are coming in or uh, trying something new because what you've been doing has been working for a really long time in your life. So you, maybe you're just resistant to change or whatever. And this card's all about letting go of that old, outdated information and old, outdated ideas of how to do things and allowing new things to come in. Uh, and, it, it, and funny enough, it's followed up by the Three of Diamonds. Three of Diamonds is it's like you in the middle with two choices. It's like you have two choices now. You're going to have two choices. I feel like a lot of you, this is going to have to do with something financial like work or business. And it's like a lot of you could be presented with two choices even like on jobs like you could be presented with two different jobs that you could potentially get if you're looking for that sort of thing. And one way will be maybe seemingly like it's better on the surface but you'll know that there's something off with it and then the other way will be you know maybe it may pay less or something like that but it just feels more right. Three of Diamonds wants you to pick what feels right as far as a job situation goes. So a lot of you could be experiencing these these choices in your job or your business, or even if you don't have one of those things, maybe you could get one of those things this week, and you really have to make that choice that feels right to you. And finally, you have the King of Spades. King of Spades is totally you right now during this time of, of making decisions. King of Spades has been through a lot, and he has really learned from his mistakes. That's why I like the King of Spades. So this is just, it doesn't matter. I don't attach sex to my cards. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is just an energy that is surrounding you at this time. And King of Spades is all about having truly learned from the, everything, like everything that you do and truly have, having learned from your past and using that today to your advantage. So that's what you're going to be doing is really having learned from your past and using that to your advantage. King of Spades also um, has a, uh, is very good at using his resources. So I would say this week, you're going to want to be very resourceful in, in what you do and what you use, even financially. Um, you know, he'd be very good at looking for deals and things like that. So uh, just I know that's kind of random, kind of mundane message, but a lot of you could find some good deals this week or something uh, with this card. So it looks like an awesome week. Uh, definitely enjoy it.